Hey folks, Craig here back from another video and today we're taking a quick look and overview of the HTC One which is HTC's latest flagship device if the name is anything to go by you can tell that they've dropped any uh, secondary letters like the One S or One X, it's just One now um, this is probably their best smartphone they've ever released hands down uh, it's one of the nicest looking phones, if not the nicest looking smartphone I've ever seen. Uh, it is 100%, well not 100% but close enough, uh, it's one piece of aluminum which is cut with a CNC machine to specification for all the pieces and components on the inside. Uh, it's been reported that it takes around 200 minutes per device to cut each case for f uh, each phone. So basically we're going to take a quick look at the hardware. Now here we have the back. Uh, first I will zoom in so you can see it here. Uh, we have the 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera which is again a completely different direction for smartphones. HTC have decided to go in a different direction because most companies will just release a bump in megapixels and stuff like that which increases the quality. Uh, HTC want to do something differently and they decreased the amount of megapixels for each individual size of uh, the pixels. So essentially each pixel is bigger which allows in more light so low light is much better. Now we've done a bunch of tests, we've the, the review is complete um, so you can check out all the examples of photos and stuff like that on the site on geektech.ie uh, Here we have the LED flash um, This is the Im embedded antenna strips as you can see, this is embedded into the aluminum uh, We have the HTC logo and Beats audio logo Go over to here Here we have the um, uh, micro USB slot and microphone The micro USB does support MHL for USB on the go and uh, HDMI out. Here we have the home button and back button on HTC logo and one of two speakers, their front facing speakers which is another feature set of this device. On the top we have the front facing camera, one of the other speakers and the ambient light sensors. On the top we have the power button slash infrared sensor and 3.5 millimeter jack. On the right side we have the uh, volume rocker which is completely flushed with the side of the device makes it kind of hard to get to um, you know, define the buttons basically but you know it's not too bad um, on the right uh, sorry on the left side we have the uh, micro sim slot there as well that's pretty much it for hardware design um, so the specifications of this device it is being released or it has been released with Android 4.1.2 but HTC have said that they will be updating it to 4.2 shortly or in a month or so um, it's has a 4.7 inch 1080p LCD 3 display it has the highest pixel density of any uh, display which is 469 pixels per inch uh, which is absolutely amazing I will zoom in there and you can get a look at the screen and you can see how actually clear it is uh, it's quad core 1.7 gigahertz crate 300 which is part of the snapdragon 600 chipset uh, by Qualcomm 2 gigabytes of RAM um, 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte storage options and again we have the 4 megapixel camera there on the back um, that's pretty much it for specifications other than um, it's got wireless AC uh, NBG all of them Bluetooth 4.0 all the exp all the specifications you would expect from a high-end phone there is no micro SD slot which I think is probably the biggest oversight for HCC on any device um, I think every smartphone should have a micro SD slot even if they're given 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte storage, it doesn't matter, I think they should always have one but that's neither here nor there um, so yeah that's pretty much it for the device uh, it has Sense 5.0 which is HTC's latest uh, UI for Android which has seen some um, pretty much bug fixes and features included new features and stuff like that the biggest one I'd say would be Blink Feed which is essentially like Flipboard in a way that it gets all your all the news feeds and uh, social uh, networks all together and it's built into your home screen it's very nice it works very well the only downside is that you can't remove it you can't get rid of it and you can't change the auto update on it it is built in uh, the only thing you can change on auto update is whether it uses Wi-Fi or mobile connections so regardless of whether you want it to or not it will update and it will stay there you can't delete it or anything like that possibly in the future they'll give the option to the users to remove it but again there's no way to know um, it's pretty much the same as before except this time it's a vertical scrolling menu instead of horizontal 
you can change the arrangement alphabetic and stuff like that it has a built-in weather and time at the top of it um, the only thing, other big change would be the settings menu which has seen uh, a completely different arrangement of stuff not not as big as you know other devices have changed but it is an improvement and stuff like that they've arranged it in ways that they see it would be better instead of just vanilla android or anything like that it is similar to uh, android but there are a few things in different places which will take you a while to find out and stuff like that but no biggie um that's pretty much it for the software side of things we have done benchmarks camera tests uh, performance battery test and stuff like that so you can check out the full review on geektech.ie the link will be posted below um so thanks for watching